Gorilla vs. Leopard A battle for dominance Africa is home to a wide variety of different animals. Gorillas and leopards are some of the toughest and most dangerous animals today. As herbivores, gorillas primarily eat stems, bamboo shoots, and fruits. Leopards, on the other hand, are the top predators. Amazingly, these two species also happen to encounter one another in their native habitats in Africa. So, who do you think would win such a fight? Gorillas, which have a genetic similarity of about 98% to humans, are the second closest primate relatives to us, after chimpanzees and bonobos. They are the largest primates on Earth and can be classified into two primary species, the Eastern Gorilla and the Western Gorilla. Belonging to the same family as lions, tigers, and jaguars, leopards are a type of formidable big cat. They are distributed across regions of Sub-Saharan Africa, Northeast Africa, Central Asia, India, and China. Despite their widespread geographic range, numerous populations of leopards are presently endangered, particularly those residing outside of Africa. Size and Description The gorilla's body is covered in short, thin, grey-black to brown-black hair, with the exception of their faces, which have no hair. However, western lowland gorillas may have a more brownish coat colour. Fully grown male gorillas, known as silverbacks, possess a white hair saddle across their lower back, which may extend to their rump and thighs in the western lowland subspecies. The western lowland gorilla is also characterized by a more prominent brow ridge and small ears relative to the head size. The large bony crests on the top and back of the skull give adult male gorillas a conical head shape, and these crests support the massive muscles used for their large jaws and teeth. Adult male gorillas can weigh between 300 to 500 pounds, 136.1 to 226.8 kilograms and grow up to 6 feet 1.8 meters tall. Leopards are the smallest of the large cats. Males weigh 80 to 165 pounds, 36 to 74 kilograms. They range between 17.5 and 30.5 inches high at the shoulder. 44 to 77.5 centimeters. They have a slender and muscular build with a long body and relatively short legs. Their coat is covered with short, smooth fur that ranges in color from tawny gold to pale yellow, with black spots and rosettes arranged in circular patterns. The rosettes, which are larger than the spots, have a darker coloration around the edges. Leopards have a broad head with strong jaws and sharp teeth, which they use to catch and kill their prey. They are capable of dragging large carcasses up into trees to protect their food from other predators. Range and Habitat Gorillas are primarily found in Central and Eastern Africa, with the majority of their range located in the tropical forests of the Congo Basin. There are two main species of gorillas, the Eastern Gorilla and the Western Gorilla. The Eastern Gorilla is found in Uganda, Rwanda, and the Democratic Republic of Congo, while the Western Gorilla is found in Cameroon, Gabon, Central African Republic, Republic of Congo, and Equatorial Guinea. Gorillas are generally adapted to living in dense forest habitats where they can find food and shelter. They are known to live in both lowland and montane forests, and some populations have adapted to living in swamp forests as well. Within these forest habitats, gorillas will typically range across a fairly small area. Leopards are found across a wide range of habitats throughout sub-Saharan Africa and Asia. They are one of the most adaptable of the big cats and can survive in a variety of ecosystems, including forests, grasslands, savannas, and even urban areas. 
In Africa, leopards can be found in most countries south of the Sahara Desert, with the exception of the driest deserts and the densest rainforests. In Asia, leopards are found from the Middle East to the Russian Far East and from the Himalayas to Southeast Asia. In general, leopards prefer areas with abundant prey, cover, and water sources. Food Habits In general, gorillas are herbivores. They mostly consume plants, including fruit, tree bark, tree pulp, wild celery, shoots, roots, and shoot shoots, but they have also been found to consume insects and small animals. Each day, a male can consume up to 40 pounds, 18 kilograms of plants. Gorillas' exact diet depends on where they live. A lowland gorilla's diet consists of fruit about 67% of the time, leaves, seeds, and stems 17%, and termites and caterpillars 3%. Leopards are carnivores, but they aren't picky eaters. They will prey on any animal that comes across their path, such as Thompson's gazelles, cheetah cubs, baboons, rodents, monkeys, snakes, large birds, amphibians, fish, antelopes, warthogs, and porcupines. Leopards are ambush predators. They crouch low to sneak up to their prey, and pounce before it has a chance to react. A leopard will kill its prey with one swift bite to the neck, breaking it. Behavior Silverback gorillas are highly social animals that live in groups known as troops or bands. A troop typically consists of one dominant silverback male, several adult females, and their offspring. Silverback gorillas use a variety of behaviors to assert their dominance over the other members of their troop. These displays include chest beating, roaring, standing upright, and charging. Silverback gorillas use vocalizations, body language, and touch to maintain cohesion within their group. They groom each other, share food, and play together to strengthen social bonds. Gorillas construct new nests each night from leaves and branches to sleep in. The silverback will typically make the first nest, and the females and young will follow his lead. Silverbacks are responsible for protecting their group from threats, such as predators or other gorilla groups. They will put themselves between their group and any perceived danger, and will use their size and strength to intimidate or fight off attackers. Leopards are solitary and elusive animals that are highly adaptable to a variety of habitats, including forests, savannas, and even urban areas. Leopards are solitary animals that defend large territories. They mark their territories with urine and feces, as well as by scratching trees and leaving scent marks with their paws. Leopards are generally solitary animals, only coming together to mate or when a female has young cubs. They will avoid contact with other leopards, except during brief encounters or territorial disputes. Leopards are primarily active at night and will spend most of the day resting in trees or in other hidden locations. Leopards communicate with each other using a variety of vocalizations, including growls, roars, and purrs. Now, in a death battle between a gorilla and a leopard, who will win? Leopards and gorillas have distinct physical differences. Gorillas are much larger than leopards, twice their height, and live in small groups, while leopards are solitary. Gorillas are omnivorous and mostly eat vegetation and insects, while leopards are carnivorous and primarily eat meat. If a fight were to occur between a leopard and a gorilla, the key factors would be their physical traits and fighting capabilities. Leopards have the advantage of speed, capable of sprinting between 35 to 40 miles per hour, while gorillas can move at 25 miles per hour using their semi-bipedal knuckle-walking technique. Leopards are skilled predators with sharp senses and excellent vision both during the day and at night. Gorillas have senses similar to humans with a superior sense of smell. 
Gorillas are not known for combat skills, but when provoked, they can charge their opponents, using their incredible strength to grab, beat, bite, and potentially break limbs. Leopards use their cunning and agility to ambush their prey at close range, increasing their chances of a successful hunt. They jump onto their prey, dig in with their claws, and deliver a powerful bite to the head or neck, killing it. In summary, while gorillas and leopards have different physical traits and fighting styles, in a fight the outcome would depend on a range of factors, including the circumstances and the skill and determination of each animal. In theory, a full-grown silverback male gorilla has nothing to fear from any leopard. It can also bite them or break their spine with a single blow. This is if the leopard is stupid enough to face this gorilla in plain daylight. But the reality is that from time to time leopards kill and eat gorillas. They primarily attack by ambushing, preferring the younger and weaker, but they also kill adult males. They use the shadows of the night to attack gorillas while they were sleeping. Nature does not understand fairness, but in a fight to the death, I'll take the silverback gorilla. If an adult male gorilla is determined to fight and kill the pantherin, he should be able to do so more frequently than not. The gorilla is much stronger and can easily slam the leopard around, has a deadly bite with its own sharp canines, and its massive forearms could easily break the cat's spine or crush its skull with a full force swing. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.